In this video, we're going to learn how to append a character to a string that's stored in dynamically allocated memory using C. So first we'll include the stdlib.h library where the dynamic memory allocation functions like malloc, realloc, and free are defined. Then down here, we'll declare a car pointer variable called buffer. So this variable called buffer is a pointer to a car. What that means is this variable is going to store the memory address of a car value. So it's going to store the memory address of the first character in our string. So then we'll call malloc to allocate a block of memory to store the string. So here we'll call malloc. And malloc is going to return the memory address for a block of memory that's been dynamically allocated on the heap. The size of that block of memory is going to be determined by the argument that we pass malloc. So if we pass malloc five, the block of memory is going to be five bytes in length. Now it takes one byte to store a car value. So if we want to store the string subscribe into this block of memory, then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bytes worth of memory, plus one more byte for the null terminator character at the end of the string. So we'll pass 10 to malloc to allocate space for 10 bytes or 10 car values. Now, if malloc succeeds, it's going to return the memory address for this block of memory. If malloc fails, it's going to return null. So we'll check for that. If buffer is equal to the special value null, which basically means a pointer to nothing, then we're going to exit the program. We'll print out here, error allocating space for string, and we'll exit the program by using return one here. So this here will output error allocating space for string followed by a new line. And then we're going to return one instead of returning zero to signal that something has gone wrong with the execution of our program. Now, if we did succeed in allocating space for the string, what we'll do is copy the string subscribe into this block of memory. We're going to include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strcpy, which we can use to copy a string into that block of memory. Then down here, we'll call the string copy function with strcpy and we'll pass it buffer and the string subscribe. And what this will do is copy the string subscribe into the block of memory that buffer points to. Now that block of memory has a length of 10 bytes. So if we want to append another character to the string, like for example, lowercase r, we need a block of memory that's one byte bigger. We can use the realloc function to reallocate this block of memory. What we could do is call realloc and we'll pass it our existing pointer to the block of memory buffer. Then we'll pass it as a second argument, the size in bytes that we need for the new string. We need 11 bytes because we're adding one more character to a string that took 10 bytes to store. Now realloc is going to return null if it fails. Otherwise, it's going to return the memory address of the reallocated block of memory. The memory address that realloc returns might be the same one that's stored in buffer already if it can just increase the size of the existing block of memory at its current location in memory. So if the memory next to the existing block of memory is unused, for example, realloc can just expand the size of the existing block of memory at its current location. But if it can't do that, realloc will copy the existing block of memory's data to some other location in memory where there is enough space, and then it's going to return the new memory address for this location instead. So either way, we'll store the memory address for the reallocated block of memory back in the buffer. Now, if buffer is null, that tells us there was an error reallocating the block of memory. And in that case, we'll exit the program with a similar error message. So here we'll have if buffer is null, then we'll output error reallocating space for the string. And again, we're going to return one. Now, if we don't know the length of the string stored in buffer, what we could do is call the string length function instead to figure that out. So here we'll call strlen, which is the string length function in the string.h library, and we'll pass it buffer. What this will return is the number of characters in this string, not including the null terminator character. Then we could add two to this number to account for the null terminator and the extra character that we're going to append to the string. Then down here, we'll declare a variable to store the character that we're going to append to the string. So we'll declare a car type variable called character and we'll store into this variable the character lowercase r. Then to actually append the character to the string, we're going to call the string concatenation function strncat that's in the string.h library. So here we'll call strncat, 
we'll pass it buffer, the memory address of our character variable, and one. And what this will do is append this one character here that's at this memory address to the string that's at this memory address, and that will do it. We can then output the string using printf. So here we'll call printf and we'll pass it a string with percent %s to output a string followed by backslash n for new line, and then we'll output buffer. We can also call free and pass it buffer to free the dynamically allocated memory. Now, if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here subscriber, which is subscribe with the character lowercase r appended. So this is how we can append a character to a dynamically allocated string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.